Unfortunately, I must leave you two. You were never a mother, and you were never a father to me. And in turn, I was never a son. I do not feel sad about it. Some people are just not cut out to be parents. For one thing, you two are both selfish. The sun rises and sets by your time clock. The moon shines only to light your path at night. Mirrors only reflect your image. For everyone else, it's hit or miss. The rain gets out of your way, so as not to inconvenience you. One thing I've learned from you two is to only trust myself. That might sound harsh, but it's an invaluable lesson for a person to learn growing up to be a real adult. It honestly has probably saved my life at some point without me even knowing it. The world isn't rainbows and unicorns as the TV would have you believe. So I thank you for kicking me in the teeth at the age of seven and making me become a man. A lot of people try to put the brakes on me and told me to slow down and be a kid. But how could I with parents like you? Oh, don't pretend to be sad. It doesn't suit you. You're not parents, and I'm not a loving son. If you died today, I wouldn't be broken up about it, and it wouldn't even ruin my lunch. Speaking of which, Make sure you have a will and life insurance. I will not be responsible for you after you die. And make sure you don't try one last chance to get your revenge for your own selfishness and settle me with debt. I won't accept it and just sue your estate anyway. You forget. I was the one born with the brains and a lifelong lesson of how to stick a knife into someone and slowly twist it for the most effect. If you wanted me to grow up to be a great son, you failed. If you wanted me to grow up to be a psychopath, here's a thumbs up for a job well done. You passed with flying colors. Fortunately, I never went into the burning small animal phase to complete my journey to the dark side. But the whole lack of a loving heart is fully operational. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a small corporation I have to sue out of existence. Oh, and you best check to make sure it's not yours. I can't be bothered to do so. And if it happens to be yours, be sure to hire the best attorneys money can buy, because I won't even bet an eye over my parents owning it. Oh, look, I see here an old lady died and left her house without a will for her 12 children to divvy up. I'll see if I can swoop in and buy it for pennies on the dollar. The kids are on social security, they wouldn't know what to do with money, so I'll make sure not to buy the house for too much. <laughs>